no time for the bad vibes No time for the vipers, yeah Light up, bro I just wanna make you my baby Fine, fine You make my mind go side, side You take my BP high Alright, I think my vocal is okay even at 6 dB. For some vocals, you see that if you go as far as 6 dB, you start hearing these sharp noises, sharp sounds. So that means you need to bring it back a little bit, maybe to 3 dB. So I think mine is okay right here. Let's move on to the next plugin. By adding some presence to the vocal, we've raised some high ends we need to apply a deesser to control those sharp sounds that we've now brought into the vocal so i'll put a deesser here so for the deesser what i'll do is the threshold at auto and then the release at 150 is okay which is the default we'll play around with the reduction to see which point reduces those sibilances in accordance with what we want so let's just do that no time for the bad vibes No time for the vipers, yeah Light up, bro I just wanna make you my baby Fine, fine You make my mind go side, side You take my BP high, high I ain't gon' quit out, I try I fly you from dollar to trauma which... Alright, I think that's okay for me at that point So you can listen to other parts of your vocal And see what you come up with so patience is very important just follow these steps properly be patient about this take your time and make sure everything you do has a purpose we can add another compressor the use of this compressor is just to compact the vocal just put it all together so let me do that so that you see I'll put a compressor but this one is going to be a little bit different in terms of uh, the parameters so here i'll set it to somewhere maybe three to one and then i'll take the attack somewhere around this i also take the release to somewhere here so on this compressor we're going to take the threshold all the way to negative 31 around there so let's just play this no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah and then now we can go to the makeup and add if you can see here we've lost more than negative 12 db maybe let's just push it back a little bit mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah we want everything to be compacted together so now let's push our makeup mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah Light up, bro. I just wanna make you my baby. Fine, fine. You make my mind go side, side. You take my BP high, high. I ain't gonna quit out, I try. I fly you from dollar to. Alright, so I think we'll leave it at uh, 7.0 dB. So now what we need to add is some warmth to the vocal. So we're going to use a saturation plugin. So in Cubase Pro, the only plugin that I can think of which can give us some kind of saturation is called Magneto. This one here. This plugin adds some kind of distortion to the vocal, but it's the nice kind of distortion. So we're going to use it to add some warmness to the vocal. So you can push the saturation here. So I think I'll leave it at 30 to listen to the amount of warmth that you're adding to the vocal you can simply solo this here and just listen to what is really coming out of magneto so let's just do that mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah so at this point you can even start pushing this and see where you would want it mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah all right so you can switch it off once uh, you are okay with what um, mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro. i just wanna make you my baby fine fine all right i think this is okay for me now so we can add delay and reverb now so to do that we're going to add 
two FX channel, one for delay and one for reverb. The same thing, go to the blank space, right click and go to add effect track. And then we want to. All right, so once you add your FX channels down here, you rename them to verb send and delay send. So we're going to start with the delay. We'll go into here and add mono delay from Cubase, which is this one here. And we can just push this here a little bit and this here. So what we've done really is just uh, cut out some of the low and some of the high. And just set it all the way to wet because it is being used as a send. And then you can remove it from sync. And then now you can use your calculator to find the delay time. So first of all, you need to take note of your tempo. What is the tempo of your, your beat or the tempo of your project? Make sure you match the tempo of your beat and your project right here in Cubase. If it happens that you're watching this video, but when you started recording, you didn't match your tempo in Cubase, what you can do is click on all these channels and just change this from musical mode. Just take it to linear. Once you've changed all of these channels, now you can, can match the tempo of your beat to that of the project here in Cubase by double clicking here and setting the tempo here. If you don't set the correct tempo here, your delay won't sync with your music. So make sure you do that. If you just set your tempo without changing this, uh, the, your channels from musical mode to linear, what will happen is that everything will try to fit into the new tempo and they will be stretched or moved from the right positions. Once that is done, Let's get a calculator and calculate. So our tempo is 92. So I'll just pull up a calculator here. I'll say 60,000 divided by 92. I get 652. So that's my delay. Once my delay is set, I'll go to my reverb. So for my reverb, the plugin I'm going to use is um, Roomworks. You can use whichever reverb plugin you want. And what I'll do is take the size all the way and then also take the mix or just click wait only because it is being used as a send. So we need to set it to wait. The efficiency, take it up somewhere here or 70%. The diffusion, take it all the way like that. So now let's just calculate for the reverb time. So what we'll do is go back to our calculator where we found our delay, which is this, and multiply this by 2. Multiply it again by 2. So we get somewhere around, uh, this is 2000. If you look at the, the reverb plugin is in seconds. So 2000 is 2 seconds. So I'll multiply it again because I want a more wider reverb so you can try the 2000 if it's not as wide as you like you can try a more wider reverb so i'll multiply it by two again i'll put it there and then i'll just leave it at that and then we can set the pre-delay by coming back to the calculator now divide by four we are going downwards divide by four by four again so we get 20 milliseconds. So I'll come here and set my pre-delay to 20 milliseconds. All right, once that is done, you just remove this. Go to your lead vocal group channel, which is this one here. And right here, add a send, which is verb send. We're going to start with reverb. So switch it on. So if you play this, this will be too much reverb. What you need to do is start reducing. So let's just play. Mm, no time for the bad vibes, no time for the vipers, yeah. Light up, bro. I just wanna make you my baby. Fine, fine. You make my mind go side, side. How do you know where to stop? This is basically up to you some songs require too much reverb some songs require just a little bit so for rap vocals will require less reverb this type of music 
here will require maybe a little bit more reverb now click and add some delay so you can start with whichever you want delay or reverb so for me i'll just push my delay all the way here mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro i just wanna make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go side side you take my bp high high i ain't gonna quit out i try one step that we forgot is controlling your reverb so you can come here switch on this switch on these set this to 24 set this to 24 this is under your reverb fx channel so take the low cut to somewhere 500 maybe somewhere there the high cut to somewhere close to 5000 if we play this now mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro. i just wanna make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go side side you take my bp high high I ain't gon' quit out, I try I fly you from dollar to trauma With you I can travel the world Together I see my dreams You can start spicing up your mix now uh, Go to your reverb, do you need to add a little bit more? Go back to your vocals uh, Do you need to reduce them a bit or raise the backing vocals a bit? You can now do a little bit of the tweaks And just make it perfect now Thank you very much for watching if you've watched the video up to this part feel free to comment in the comment section if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video see you in my next video